Hi, I'm James Norton for Chata.com Super Taster. I'm here today to talk about kettle chips. Uh, if you haven't had kettle chips, they've got a 30-year history. They make all sorts of different flavors of naturally made potato chips. They don't use GMO foods. There's no sort of preservatives or artificial colors or flavors. Uh, so they've kind of got a good reputation in that regard and they've turned 30 and so they've brought back a number of their classic discontinued flavors for us to sample once again. Now, I've been thinking a lot about the connection between the sense of taste and our other uh, senses, just the way our, our mind and our palates work together. And I thought I would give my own palate a workout today and try and see if I can tell which of the three kettle chip flavors uh, is which with a blindfold on. Now I know I'm gonna be tasting a red chili chip, a beer and cheddar chip, and a jalapeno jack chip. Uh, let's give us a shot, Magic Hand. Do you wanna feed me the, uh, the first chip here? This has got a nice, uh, I would say almost spiced tomato-y, uh, gentle bit of heat after it. Uh, I'm gonna guess that was the red chili chip. That was not the red chili chip, that was the jalapeno jack. I was expecting more kick from that and more cheese from that. So, uh, all right, so I'm, I'm 0 for 1. Let's, let's get the other two right. Magic hand, the next chip. Okay, this is very cheesy. I'm gonna say cheddar forward. I'm guessing this is the beer cheddar chip, although I wish there's a little bit more malt from the beer, uh, but the cheese is coming through well. It's a very tasty chip. All right, the final chip. Okay, there's a kind of mellow garden uh, vegetal flavor going on. A little bit of an afterburn here. This apparently is the uh, the red chili chip by process of elimination, but but also by flavor. Um, final thoughts on the new slash old kettle chip flavors that they brought back? They're good. They're good chips. I mean, they've got a um, a lightness to them and a crunchiness to them that's really pleasant. Uh, I wish they would be a little bit more aggressive with the flavors, but it's okay, I think, that they're not extreme and that they're uh, that they're gentle and they're suggestive. Happy 30th anniversary, guys. Uh, I'm James Norton for Chata.com Super Taster, and I'll see you with more food on Friday.